Good morning, this is the team from DPS RK Perom and the topic we are here to speak on today is frequency analysis. What is cryptography? Cryptography is the practice of encryption and decryption of text in secret code to protect the data from third party. Modern cryptography involves a study of mathematics and computer science. The principles of cryptography are today applied to the encryption of fax, television, and computer network communications. The secure transmission of computer data is widely used in banking, government, and commercial communications. The science of secure and secret communications, involving both cryptography and cryptanalysis, is known as cryptology. What is a cipher? A cipher is an algorithm used to perform tasks of encryption and decryption by following a set of well-defined steps. Based on key, there are two types, symmetric key algorithms. Same key is used for encryption and decryption. Asymmetric key algorithms, two different keys are used for encryption and decryption. In particular, a substitution cipher is a symmetric cipher in which single letters or pairs of letters of ordinary text are replaced with symbols. A substitution cipher can be of two types, simple substitution cipher, operates on single letters. Polygraph X substitution cipher, operates on groups of letters. So, let B C. Then M will be O. And similarly W will be Y. Substitution cipher dates back to the time of Julius Caesar where the cipher alphabet was merely a cyclical shift of the plain text alphabet. In mathematics, modular arithmetic is a system of arithmetic for integers, where numbers wrap around upon reaching a certain value called the modulus. Mod N is a type of a substitution cipher in which a certain letter is replaced by the letter exactly n letters after it. An example would be rotate 13 cipher which has a shift value of 13. We performed a frequency analysis of over 9000 plus books, using a C++ program written by us. It read a given text file, character by character, and at the end of the file, calculated the percentage of occurrence of each letter. We wrote another C++ program which counted the occurrence of a particular word in the document and if its occurrence was below a set limit, the content of the file was erased. This helped delete files that were of different language or were too short to be considered. So, we set, there, as the word to search for and the limit is 200. The analyzed data was written into a text file which was then imported into an Excel file and further mined for data. Average, maximum, minimum and graph was later done in Excel using the imported data. Here is the data, to decrypt a substitution cipher a cryptanalyst can use a brute force method to check for every shift value, 25 in English, and thereby, examine each possibility. However the cipher could be made using individual substitution where the shift value of each letter is not fixed. So, for a 5 letter word, there would be over 11 million possibilities. Using frequency analysis we can reduce this number to unity. The cracker can calculate the frequency of letters appearing in the cipher and relate them to the frequency stats of the language being used. For example, the cracker finds that in the code the letter B is used very often, relative percentage almost 13%, and the plain text language is English, then he can compare this to the letter frequency of English language, and conclude that the letter B in the code corresponds to E, thereby deducing that the shift value of the letter or cipher is 4. Using the methods and programs shown above, if the profiles of different languages are available, a given document can be scanned and by comparing the results with the reference profiles the language can be determined. Certain expressions are often specific to writers and are called their bent style. The change in expressions causes a slight change in the frequency of letters and through frequency analysis we can observe patterns followed by the author in the various literary works. Some common words We can determine the course of evolution a language using frequency analysis as some words are specific to a certain literary era. For example, some common words of Old English common are orgabit, vinamidified, etc. Some common words of Middle English are adown. Aldabest. 
Some common words of early modern English are thee, thou, thy, thine. And some common words of late modern English are hashtag, work, YOLO. With every period certain words became less common or even stopped being used. This causes a significant change in the frequency of letters and words over eras and one can even even predict how the language might transform. Due to a change in common expressions and words with the literary eras, there would be a significant difference in the frequency of letters with each time period and hence, by calculating the frequency of letters in the text, its age can be roughly estimated.